Hey guys, what's up? Uh, sorry for the delay on this video. I know a lot of people in the comments have been asking, you know, John, when's the next video coming out? Uh, well, here it is now. Um, I was, have been putting off this video for a while uh, because the plan today is to Marie Kondo the shit out of my room. Uh, so I've been putting it off since Marie Kondo was relevant, probably uh, 18 months or something like that. Uh, so we're gonna get stuck in. I'm ready to go. Uh, I just watched uh, a YouTube video about her and I watched one episode of her Netflix show, uh, which is probably enough. Uh, so I'm ready to dive in. Uh, according to the rules, there's six different steps. Step number one is commit yourself uh, to tidying up. Here I am. I'm committed. I'm ready to go. The time oh, is... Shit. <laughs> That's second, second episode coming on. Uh, the time is 1.51. I'm anticipating it's going to take around about three hours. Uh, we'll see how we go. Might take a bit longer, might be a bit optimistic, but that's the plan. Uh, step number two is to imagine your ideal lifestyle. Uh, my ideal lifestyle at the moment for my room is just to have it clutter free. I'd like it to have it be a sort of a relaxing place that I can focus and work on, on writing or work on my business uh, if that's what I need to. I've also got a great view out the window so if there's somewhere I can incorporate the view into my writing or, or workstation or anything like that that would be amazing step number three finish discarding first that's fine four tidy by category not by location uh, so the the order that you're going to I'm going to tidy things in is clothing first books papers documentation after that uh, then miscellaneous uh, and then sentimental stuff uh, so that's the order, that's step number five, follow the right order. And step number two, six uh, is ask yourself if it sparks joy. Uh, the classic Marie Kondo thing. We'll see about that one as well. Uh, to be honest, I'm not... Uh, I, think, I think the joy is going to come from throwing away a whole bunch of junk. Uh, so after I do each category, I'm going to show you guys how much I'm throwing away, how much I'm giving away, how much uh, I'm keeping for myself, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to get rid of at least half my stuff if not uh, a little bit extra anyway let's jump in i'll show you my room i'll show you what we're dealing with this afternoon so this is more or less what we're dealing with uh this corner is the corner that scares me the most i can honestly say i've been living here for two and a half years i've never actually cleaned out this drawer just here entirely uh, obviously clothes over in the corner and a whole bunch of junk under the bed i'm gonna kick all of that up haven't seen a lot of that stuff since i moved to barcelona uh so we'll see how we go uh this is the view i'd like to incorporate more into my life as well gorgeous This is the pile of clothes. Some of it I haven't seen in four years. Some of it I didn't even remember that I had. That's what we're now going to sort through into four piles. Stuff I want to keep, stuff I should throw away because it's terrible, stuff my friends might want, and stuff charities might want. Let's go. basically made two piles this pile here is all the stuff that's either to charity or to friends people i know um a lot of it I hadn't seen in ages or it was like stuff that i had that was like part of a custom made suit i haven't worn a suit in four years don't really care to start soon uh and then this is the stuff that i'm keeping uh this stuff i'm throwing away it's all just trash not good for anyone a couple of shirts here nicer shirts that i just don't really love so I'll give them to my flatmates if they want them. And then a few things over here. I use this stuff for auditions, so I'll sort of keep it in the back uh, only when I need it. Uh, and a friend, a uh, shirt from a friend, so I'll see if he wants that back as well. 
Um, here I have all the clothes that I want to keep, uh, and here I have the space for them. Uh, I'm going to be using space slightly more efficiently. I'll have a sock drawer and an underwear drawer just here. Uh, so it's just a matter of folding them up and popping them back. Here we go. Okay, uh, that was easy enough. Uh, it looks a lot tidier. I feel like I've got a whole lot less clothes. I've tucked away the stuff I don't use so much uh, down here somewhere, so that's out of the way. Can't how many t-shirts I've got, can't how many jeans I've got. It's all looking good. And this is the other stuff for auditions, which I tuck away. So now we're on to books. Same process. Let's go. Okay, um, these are my books, I think that's most of them, some from around the house as well. Uh, so now I just need to sort them into books I've borrowed that aren't actually mine to give back. Books I need to read, books I've already re read and want to give away, books I want to reread. And then I've got a big box of my uh, writing books here as well, I'm going to keep all of those, so I'll sort of put all of those together. So, here we go. Okay, that was pretty easy. So these are my writing books all packed away, I can tuck them away in a corner. These are the books that I've read and liked and want to keep. Uh, these are the books that I'm going to give away somewhere to whoever will take them. And these are the books that are not mine uh, that I'm going to give to someone else. This is stuff that I'm current, currently reading or currently working on. Um, perfect. Okay, I've tucked all my books that I don't need to access regularly away in here along with my treasure chest this is going to be my cupboard that i don't need to look at uh very often okay the next step is papers um this one i'm not looking forward to i've got papers everywhere i've already chucked out a whole bunch that are definitely useless uh but all different places and here there's different papers i have to figure out which ones are worthwhile and which ones aren't let's dive in Okay, here are all my papers and documents and all of that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to be pretty brutal here because I'm pretty sure I don't need almost any of the stuff except for a few official Spanish documents. I've got this kind of English language teaching stuff that might be handy. Maybe I'll just tuck it away somewhere deep. Okay, that's not bad, I think. Uh, I'm going to keep my English stuff, but I'll put it away in the drawer in the cupboard that I never used. And then I have two separate drawers uh, over here. One for official banking stuff, another for comedy writing stuff uh, with a couple of empty notebooks. Perfect. Paper stuff is done. I've probably thrown away about 90% of my paper stuff, so we're on to step four, uh, which is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is everything else this is probably the most complicated category because i've got so much junk uh but i'm actually kind of excited to see what i have because i haven't looked to the bottom of this drawer in years now uh so here we go i'll dump it out on the on the bed and we'll have a look at what we're dealing with Coins, which are going to go into my treasure chest right here so it's nice to add some treasure to there lots of art supplies which is weird because I don't do art ever 
Um, a lot of juggling equipment. I think I'll make a new draw of art slash juggling equipment. Um, some tech stuff. This camera I've been looking for. It's nice. We're going to create a hidden camera in a milk carton to film uh, some sort of stunts around the city. Uh, a bunch of bathroom stuff. Uh, about, let's see, 15 pounds, 5 bucks, so, you know, 20 dollars, or 20 pounds or so, this is Polish money, that is more Polish money, uh, so most of that can go into the treasure chest as well, oh, and some tools I can add to my, uh, toolbox. Okay, that's step four done, and then the final category uh, was sentimental things. I don't really have many of those, uh, but I'm keeping the ones I do care about. One is my childhood soft toy Toasty. He's as old as I am. We've been hanging out since India. Uh, this is the keycard from my first Edinburgh Fringe show. Uh, and then this is a John Ellis Top Trumps card from the guys over at Atomic Comedy. Uh, so I'll keep those. Now all I've got to do is move things like these shelves, clean under it, no idea what's underneath, but I'm pretty sure it's gross, uh, and then rearrange my room how I want it to be, uh, and put everything back in. Alright, final stretch. Okay, pretty much finished just moving around all the furniture in my room, I've just mopped the floor so I'm leaving it to dry right now. Uh, let me show you how much stuff I've managed to get rid of, I reckon it's at least half of my stuff. This pile of clothes is going to go. Uh, the vast majority of these books are going to go, about half my books have disappeared. Uh, and then if I take you down the hall, just here, we've got this big bag here, bag of rubbish inside, another bag of rubbish, bag of clothes to be thrown out, and then two full bags of clothes that will be donated to charity, as well as a whole bunch of coat hangers, and essentially everything that I don't need or am unlikely to ever need. <laughs> Uh, what a relief. It's done. Uh, I am going to wait until tomorrow uh, to show you guys how I've, I've decorated my room and everything. It did take a little bit longer than I expected. It's now 5.30, uh, so I'll rearrange my room and, and make my bed tomorrow, uh, and I'll show you guys. Hey guys, uh, that's pretty much me done for the day. Um, as I said, it did take a little bit longer, about half an hour longer than I was expecting, three and a half hours more or less, uh, but considering I've been putting this off for... 18 months or, or more it, it feels like it went by very very quickly um now before i show you all the changes i've made to my room tomorrow i just want to say a quick thank you to our sponsors uh lays mm. and australia mm. what a beautiful combination guys i know this isn't the kind of content you usually sponsor so I really appreciate you guys taking a chance on someone that only has 13 subscribers. Uh, guys, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you didn't like the video, please comment why. Uh, and if you want to see more fantastic content like this, please subscribe. I'm looking to smash a thousand subscri subscribers in the next week or so. Uh, cool. Cheers, guys. Check out my room. Hey, guys. Good morning. Uh, I'll just quickly show you the changes I've made to my room. <laughs> Done a few little structural changes. I changed this little table here from this side of the bed to this side of the bed so it's tucked in the corner up against the cupboard that I don't use that has all my stuff that's sort of for keeping and not using. Uh, I've got some bag hooks which is handy to get the bags out of the way. I've put my washing basket just there uh, and over this side I've created a little morning coffee zone so I can sit in the seat, put my coffee on the cajon and look out at the gorgeous view. That's pretty good. Uh, apart from that, everything's sort of tidy and neat. Uh, and waking up this morning felt a lot easier than it has uh, in previous weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'll be coming out with a video about this time next week, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, I'm going to try and do videos every week or every other week. Uh, so subscribe, like if you can, leave a comment if you want to. Peace, guys.